great and glorious God, we gather to worship you. We lift our eyes to you in reverent awe before your majesty. Great is the Lord our God and greatly to be praised. Generous and merciful God, we come to worship you. We lift our eyes to you, giving thanks for your compassion. Gracious is the Lord our God and greatly to be praised. Welcoming and empowering God, we worship you. We lift our eyes to you and we celebrate your faithfulness. Holy is the Lord our God and greatly to be praised. We lift our eyes, seeking to worship and praise our God. Before the day, before the light, before the world revolved around the sun, God on high stepped down into time and wrote the story of his love for everyone. You and I are called to love. 
splendor of the King, clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice, he wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide, and trembles at his voice, trembles at his voice. God, when our days speed fleetingly past, you remember us. We pause now in the midst of our busy lives to acknowledge you as the one who gave us this day and every day. May we use it to worship you and serve others, filling our lives and this world with your love.
Your grace abounds in deepest waters. Your sovereign hand will be my guide. Where feet may fail and fear surrounds me, you've never failed and you won't stop. to take up the offering of a moment for stewardship. Have you ever refused a compliment? Someone tells you you're good at something and you immediately respond demurely, deflecting the praise as if they were talking about someone else. Paul says one of the gifts of the Spirit is encouragement, and yet so many of us won't let ourselves be encouraged. The Bible is clear. We all have been given gifts to use, and if the Spirit has given us the gifts, then the gifts must be good ones. Rather than act like we don't have them, we are called to use them wisely to further God's work in this world. We shouldn't do so pridefully, but we also shouldn't bury them like the fearful slave in the Matthew passage. The gifts we have been given to share include the abundance of our resources. 
When we generously give those to God through our church, God multiplies them for the healing of the nations. Let us come to at this time of giving, not with timidity or modesty, but with confidence that the gifts we have are forgiving.